two events in the city being closed down because of COVID-19. I was looking for a subject to incorporate in a video. The story starts with a photo I have in my collection that shows a large white house with a group of people outside. I identified this as one Malvern Road, situated between Powell's Row and Swanpool Walk, opposite the junction of Malvern Road and Bransford Road. Let's have a look at the people we shall be talking about. The main person is Elizabeth Maybury, a school teacher. Her father and mother were Edmund and Phoebe. Her great granddad, Thomas, lived at 3 Bransford Road. Daniel, who married his cousin, another Phoebe. And it took me some time to sort this. There are two Phoebes, neither of whom were obviously his wife. Thomas and his family lived at 3 Cypress Villas Bransford Road. And just in the background you can see number one. Malvern Road. I decided to see what I could find out about it and the residents. It was known as One Bowick Road in 1841, the time of the first proper census as we know it. The junction of Malvern Road and Bransford Road was once an agricultural marketplace known as St John's Green. Today, following demolition and changes in the 20th century, this area has lost much of this character. Although there are still cottages which have the small scale derived from their historic foundations. The spaciousness of the junction is a reminder of the former use as a meeting place and market. In the 1841 census, Phoebe Maybury and her family are recorded living at number one Park Road. It also shows her daughter Elizabeth, who was 12, and she's the main person that I shall be following. As I mentioned, the road was later renamed Malvern Road. It may be because of the link to Poic Lunatic Asylum. Her daughter Elizabeth, now aged 20, is a school teacher and there are two resident scholars, Catherine Joyner and Jane Taylor. School for Young Ladies, St John's Worcester, conducted by Miss Maybury. At this school, which is situated in healthy suburbs of Worcester, Young ladies are carefully instructed in the usual branches of a liberal education. The languages, drawing, etc. are taught by competent masters. References and terms may be had upon application. In 1861 census, Elizabeth is shown as being a teacher with three pupils, living at number one, Malvern Road. By 1871, she's changed her title to governess and she has two pupils. In the enhanced version of the old photograph, you can see two young ladies, one of whom is wearing a cap and gown. Presumably, these are the two pupils referred to in the 1871 census. But I can't be sure. Elizabeth was said to have had a serving maid who was 22. Maybe that's the young lady who's been pushed out at the front onto the footpath. <laughs> 